I'm back, and I'm not quite sure where I left off with the last vlog. Um, so I'm just going to record another one and uh, start with Timu again. So I went back to Timu just to look around, and I ended up spending more money. So now I have to stay away from that site because I'm poor. I don't have money to spend. I don't have extra money. So I'm stuck with the order and I'm glad. I'm happy about it, but I do not want to spend more money. But one thing that caught my eye and I said, ooh, I have to have two things that caught my eye on Timu. And that's why I kept scrolling and all that. The first thing was, um, it's like a tube, and you stick your cigarette in it. It's like an ashtray tube, and um, it's not very wide. It's just like uh, you stick your cigarette in there, and it's maybe about this wide. And uh, you can set it down in your car anywhere because your cigarette and the and the lit part are um, are protected. So, I mean, I think that's pretty awesome. And then I saw this. I wanted to buy multiple of them, but I'm like, I have to wait. But I'll definitely buy more if I can, if they work. They're USB, um, USB, uh, um, USB, heat warmers so you i guess they're just like little squares with the heating element inside of them it's very thin i guess they're wires or whatever and a wire that you plug it in to be um charged with a usb so you can put them in your gloves put them in your boots put them in your scarves, put them in your hat, all kinds of stuff to keep you warm. And I cannot, and it's a pair of two. So, you know, anyway, I cannot wait to get that in the mail. I cannot wait. And then I, okay. And then I also got, um, some, okay. Okay. I'm not allowed to tell you. I'm not allowed to, I'll show you. I'll show you the rest of the stuff. But I wanted to mention those two things because those are awesome. I couldn't believe I found them. And I said, you know, I'll share this at least. And my men allowed me to do that. So I'm glad. Thank you, men. Thank you, men. I was able to share some stuff. So anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go back to talking a little bit about how these witches are still in my life and, you know, why I don't travel and why I don't, why I don't, uh, you know, uh, move when, you know, I really want to sometimes, especially the way I'm treated sometimes, you know, or I see the hate under so many people's eyes can't they can't disguise it so uh you know they can witches and i don't know about devil worshippers all i know is witches can do just about anything they really can and um they are uh i don't know they just they are evil they're not to be messed with. I mess with them because I have security. and But they always get to me. And now I pray to Jesus and I trust Jesus with everything. So it's a lot less. You know, it's a lot less intense. And sometimes a lot of the things they try to do to me don't work. Um, so, uh, but uh, I mean, they use so much. And all of things, all of the things they do are, I mean, they're not meant for good. They're meant for either their gain or to harm. That's all. Either And if they harm people, they'll gain something by it, I think. So, I mean, I don't, 
And that's part of the reason why I don't want to leave is because they'll follow me and destroy more people, destroy another city, destroy whatever they can because they don't understand that their way of life, although they're trying to force it on the United States and it's accepted to a lot of people, but the way their way of life is not acceptable to everyone and they force it on people. Remember I said many, many years ago that what witches do and what they try to do is impose their will on others. Impose their will on others. And they'll do so many things to do that, you know. And when I say impose, it's like people don't want to do it, but they'll they'll find a way to make them. And most of the time, the people won't even realize that uh, they were uh, they were forced into it. They won't even realize it, but it, it's through a combination of media and hypnosis and magic and potions and spells, all that kind of stuff, whatever they can use. Or they'll talk for you, or they'll get in your body and through uh, through. They're vanishing, they vanish and get in your body or they'll force you to do whatever. I mean, because they can do whatever. And they'll force you. They'll force you. Uh, and that's what they have done to a lot of American society is impose their will on others so that they can live normally in a society that accepts their things. You know? like witchcraft and all kinds of stuff. And I'm not saying everyone in the United States does. I'm just saying the movies, everything's filled with it. Everything's filled with it. And, you know, you look at some of the icons out there and when they go, because, you know, I started getting um, this feed on my YouTube vlog from... A, uh, a fashion uh, commentator and the first the first ones were all of award shows and what people wore and it's really sad it's really sad to see that because to me most of it were trashy outfits I mean if you want to find the fashion in it that's fine that's fine. So some of them had some fashion, but most of them were just trashy outfits, you know? Like, here, show as much skin as possible and cover it up as little, cover up the private parts as little as possible. So, I mean, why not? That's what, And that's what it seems to be with these uh, red carpet shows, uh, red carpet appearances and photo ops and all that kind of stuff. Not for everyone, not everyone, but a lot of the people and may, maybe the majority of the people, maybe the majority of the people are very much, um, maybe sometimes, but there are people who are barely dressed in these uh, red carpet moments. You know, and they, and so I just, the last thing I want to say about this is that Hollywood is evil. Witches and witches in general are extremely sexual, very, very sexual. And I don't know, there's more, but I'm not going to get into it now. There's, okay, there's more, but I'm not going to get into it now. And uh, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. Anyway, uh, so. That's it. And let's see what else. Is there anything fun I can discuss? Is there anything fun? Yeah, I'll show you. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can get this in the picture without showing you my room. My room is a disaster. Oh, my foot. Oh, it's, so, it's hideous. It's hideous. Please don't look at it. Here we go. So, 
<laughs> I try to draw a wolf. Just like, uh, look at that. It looks terrible. But I wrote, it says, Jesus says a sheep in, in wolf's clothing is best. The lone wolf it is. So, and I dated it so I could remember what day that was. <clears throat> and I also wrote something else about how plans after plans after plans. I've made so many plans in my life. And, uh. The big ones, the ones for my life, uh, get demolished. And even now, uh, they are still being demolished if I make any plans. And now, the small ones are also being demolished. You know, like if I say, people ask, what is your plan for today? Well, I'm just going to wash the dishes. Forget about washing the dishes. You're not going to wash the dishes. Well, you know, and... I'm not going to wash the dishes, whatever. I don't wash them. Whatever my plans are, they get destroyed and demolished. And so I'm like, uh, I wrote something to the effect. Let me see if I can put my glasses on and see. I wrote, what do you do when your future keeps betraying you? You know? And this is something I would have written uh, and really meant. Uh in my 30s, and maybe even in some of my 40s, and even in my 20s, yes, I would have said, what do you do when your future keeps betraying you? And I would try to think of the answer myself. I'd be like, well, what do I do? I have to keep trying. I have to try this. I have to try that. I have to do this. I have to do that. And it's always a plan I make on my own. Until recently, and now... I say, trust Jesus. He has the plan. You know? So trust Jesus. He has the plan. I wrote it down. Um, so that's a difference. It's a major difference in my the way I think from before to now. You know, I just have to trust Jesus. Because when everyone keeps destroying your plans and ruining everything you plan, then they're just going to keep ruining your life if you let them. That's why I just go with the flow. Go with the flow. He has plans, and I'm talking about major destruction in my life. Everything torn apart. Major destruction over and over and over again. Even me being destroyed over and over and over again. Uh, but here I am, and I'm very happy. I spent the day alone, and I'm happy. And I'm not going to be alone tomorrow, but I will be, I'll still be happy. All right. And on that note, oh, and then I just also wanted to say, I hope that everybody watching has a safe place to sleep, food, plenty of food, and is safe. Oh. And, uh, and is, uh, and is well, that's what I meant. And I also hope that you have a great evening tonight and a great day tomorrow and things go your way. All right. Bye.